Hello, welcome to my channel. Let's get started. Wealth. Taking the steps. Draw lines on the sand. Arrived at a choice. From this moment on, you will earn more income and form a structure and habit to support new and better wealth levels. You must insist on this. You must desire change. You must believe in your ability to do this. Even if you are afraid that this time is no different from other times, you have already made this choice. Now you will take some measures to prevent yourself from slipping out the back door. Now take a bit of effort to support yourself in achieving greater goals. What exactly do you want to be different? If you want more income, how much and how often? Do you want your business revenue to increase or a net increase? When? This month? This year? Till next year? You have to make a decision or it will become one of those someday things. If you feel that you cannot reach a certain amount, make it smaller. If the amount you choose feels too small and you still want more income, not increase your income. Most importantly, no matter how much money you decide to earn, it means what you say. It is easy, but this is where most people fail, and the efforts of the rest will not produce successful results. One more thing. The number you choose has nothing to do with other people. Some people may judge your number to be too small or too large based on their lives. As long as you are firm in your choice and not frustrated with yourself, go ahead. Where will you spend your money? Once again, this is your money and you must be emotionally attached to it. Where is it going? If you want to repay the debt, please make a plan on how to complete it and then choose where the funds will go after the debt is repaid. Now you have the origin of a plan. Isn't that simple? If you want to save money, how much and where, you may need some imagination and inquiries to complete this step. If you want to use the extra money to spend your business, you may need to make some additional plans, but you will be full of energy. This excitement will help you to succeed. Now, sort out and write down how it will feel once it is achieved. I know that for some of you, this step sounds wasteful. Don't skip this step. You need to make this goal so real in your brain and heart that you run instead of walking to gain more wealth. This step is indispensable in both technology and the law of attraction. Produce exact activities and propensities that you will apply starting now to help this objective of more wealth. You may just require a few activities. This isn't overly complicated. For a couple of you, it may simply involve delivering responsibility. You as of now get what to do. Others may be tied in with creating a whole new relationship with pay. I know two or three of you 
really want to leave your place of employment or eliminate or add new colleagues. Indeed, you may fear a couple of things on your rundown. Yet, will you be happy once you do it? In the event that the response is no doubt, keep it on your rundown. Analyze large activities into little advances so they're edible. Inspired action. Many of you have heard this a million times, but you're still not applying it. Are you taking actions that feel great? Are they somebody else's shoots or are they really something you've selected to do? Your intuition is speaking to you. Are you hearing? Who is going to support you? Are you invested enough to see this go through? Will you believe that you will succeed even when you don't believe there are any signs of improvement over a long time period? Who's going to help you in a way that really works for you? Consistency is key. If you truly wish to have more money in your bank account and wallet, then print this out and follow these steps in the next 24 hours. This whole process might take as little as an hour or two. How passionate are you about becoming wealthy? It's not a matter of if you'll be more prosperous, but when. How many have nearly accomplished the goal of their aspiration, but losing faith in themselves? and the golden price has been lost eternally. Recall the proverb of Solomon. He becomes poor that deals with a slack hand, but the hand of the diligent gets rich. I have discovered there's enough money in the world for all of us. If it was evenly divided, this must be done, and we shall all be content together. And these very errors are helps to him in the way of experiences, if he simply minds them. You have to exercise your caution in setting your plans, but be bold in carrying them out. A man whose all caution will never dare to take charge and be successful, and a man whose all boldness and simply reckless and must finally fail.